Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be making these pillows using placemats that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I decided that I wanted to put some words on my pillows. I decided to do merry and bright just because I thought it would work really well with what I had going on in my living room. I used my Cricut machine to make these and I used the font Cami Ray. I will link that below in case you have a Cricut or a Cameo and you want to try to do this as well. You could, of course, just do it without putting the words on. Um, I also know that some Etsy shops sell some things like this, so definitely check that out as well. But you can see right here, I'm just measuring to make sure that it's all even. I decided to use the vinyl that was in the silver, and it's kind of glittery. So this is the one that says bright, so I, I obsessively made sure that it was even, and I was pretty sure I got it pretty close. I also wanted to point out that the placemat that I'm using is not actually from the Dollar Tree. I was not lucky enough to find the Buffalo Check placemats at my Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree does sell the red and the black placemats. After I got the words all sewed on, it was time to add the stuffing, so I just took this little pair of scissors that I got from the Dollar Tree and I made a little slit right along the seam just big enough for me to get my hand and some stuffing through. And I stuffed them really, really well. You don't want to spare any stuffing on this step. You really want it to be nice and full. So really pack that stuffing in there. Another tip that I would have is sometimes it's cheaper to buy a cheap pillow than it is to buy the polyfill fiber bag from the craft section. So definitely do some price comparisons when you go to the store if you're looking to stuff a pillow because like I said before, it's usually cheaper to buy a cheap pillow from the home section. Once you're done filling up your pillow, then it's time to stitch it back. I'm just doing a hand stitch here. Um, I'm pretty comfortable doing this, but if you're not, you could always just use some hot glue or some witch stitch or something like that. And the last step is going to be to add some pom-poms because if you're not new to my channel, you know that I love to add pom-poms to my homemade pillows. I actually have this pom-pom maker you can see me using right here. I will link it below if you're interested in purchasing it. It's actually pretty fun to sit around and make your own pom-poms. But I just made four of these for each one. I made four red and then I made four white. And then I just use my um, needle and my thread and I thread them to the pillows. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. It is free to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye! A sunny day, but it's cold outside.